The Ohlone men's basketball team welcomes a new coaching staff that got hired just this past spring. The coaches have different reasons for choosing to come to Ohlone. This is home for me. I grew up in the Bay Area, uh, so I spent a couple years in Riverside, but you know, coming back was you know, really special to me. My family's here, uh, my friends are here. I grew up in this area, uh, so this is my community. So I'm just coming back to it. My friendship with Jordan Lee, who's our head coach. We've talked about coaching together for a long time, so I was excited to jump on board and coach with him. The coaches feel welcome in the Ohlone community and are excited to be a part of it. I'm still new to it, but I really enjoy it so far. I've just gotten to know a few of the other coaches and staff around here, but so far I've really enjoyed it. This community has really welcomed me, whether it's from Student Life, uh, ASOC, all the different organizations on campus, uh, Umoja, uh, like everyone has just been so welcoming to me and it's just been fantastic just getting integrated uh, in my time here. The team spends about four to five hours practicing every day and they value their time. During practice, we do a lot of shooting getting reps up and uh, running through the place and stuff. And in the weight room, usually just uh, like uh, strengthening workouts and stuff. Just to get a little bit better. I mean, we talk about getting 1% better, but just like as a whole, physically, like mentally, emotionally, like can we just get a little bit better every day? The players and coaches do face challenges like every athlete. As a player is like uh, being motivated and staying consistent and stuff and uh, being disciplined as well. And uh, managing your time, because you got work, plus long hours of practice, you gotta learn how to manage your time and do your work. I think the biggest challenge is just staying consistent, because a bad week could ruin like, your whole year, so you might want to stay on top of what you're doing. I think one challenge is like the work is never done. Like You, you could work all day and still have more scouting and more recruiting and um, more film to watch. The team doesn't experience any serious conflict, but they do get competitive from time to time. We're not perfect, so like we argue sometimes, fight sometimes, but at the end of the day, we're brothers. We talk it out at the end of the day. We know that it's nothing serious, so we don't really take it personal, so we get over it. Not like team conflict, I wouldn't say that. I would say more competitive. We get more competitive, and I mean, at the end of the day, we laugh and we go to Chick-fil-A and you know smile at each other and enjoy each other's company. Despite the challenges they face, they make sure they overcome them. They remain positive and motivated, and some have different things that keep them motivated. Sometimes it's just baby steps, and whatever the challenge is, sometimes you approach it with just simple conversation. Sometimes you have to, it's a question of accountability or a question of discipline, um, but it's just one bite at a time. There's this Bible verse that I look up to, uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And yeah, that's what I look up to. So my dad passed away a couple weeks ago, so... Now everything I do is just for him, so I just keep that in mind. There is a quote I really like that actually helped me get back into coaching by Howard Thurman. Um, and he wrote, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do that. Because the, what the world needs is people who have come alive. The team has high hopes for the season and years to come. You know, I, we want to win a lot of games. We want to win our league. We want to win state. So my, yeah, my dream goal is to play. Uh, at a D1 college or D2, and then play overseas after. I really think my guys are, are, uh, are buying in. They really are. Uh, their energy, their charisma, uh, they love it. They, uh, they really, really love it. Like This means a lot to them, and it means a lot to me. And I think when you are that bought in and you care that much about a team and about its success, um, I already feel like we're on the path to where we want to get to. The team is excited for the season ahead of them, and they are putting in work to have a great season. Come support us. And Watch us win some games. I love this team. I love the brotherhood, the bond that we have. It's, it's fun. It's fun to be here. It's going to be a good year. I'm a first year head coach here at Lonely College, and they had to put a lot of belief in me and trust in me because I'm unproven. And a lot of these guys were unproven, and you know, a lot of people kind of looked, like, kind of looked the other way and, and didn't really uh, trust in them and didn't really think that they were really good. And so as a group, um, I'm just really happy that these guys are together and that we're just getting closer and closer together every day. Be sure to support the team at their homecoming game on Thursday, November 10th at 7 p.m. From Ohlone College in Fremont, this is Aliana Pasta for Ohlone Tri-City News.